What? <laughs> what? What do you want? What? <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to car wash with Papa. Hmm? You wanna wash the car with Papa? Do you wanna go? Nah, you don't wanna go. You're just gonna stay in the car. Hmm? No. Hmm. <laughs> Good girl. Good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna go wash my car. You'll be good. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I finally got some time to wash the car. Uh, I think we're just gonna do it this morning before I edit the vlogs. Um, my day's looking pretty free today. Uh, I think Whaley has to go film some stuff. And then, um, and then we have to go take some photos in the Santa Monica Pier, where there's like the pier and like the, the first wheel and all that by the beach. Um, so we'll be doing that today. I mean, you'll see everything actually. I'll vlog it and yeah. So I'm gonna finally try this clay kit that I got the other day as you guys saw in the vlogs. Um, I'll probably do this back at home when I get hit back home. But, oh actually, could I do it back home? Cause I don't have much shade. Let's see. It doesn't say that it has to be in the away from the heat I don't know we'll see wow I just noticed something I got played so I didn't even know until I opened the box and it says two um, 100 grams of clay bar but I only have one and I looked at the bottom and it's been open what the hell why would you put it back on the shelf if it's missed man do I even have the receipt I bought this on Friday. I don't have the receipt. I threw it away, but I paid with the card. Um, uh, without a receipt, I can only issue start credit. Um, that's fine. I just okay. need a ref uh, an exchange because it, it's missing a clay kit, a oh, clay bar, and I see. I see in the bottom that it's taped up. Got it. I think somebody just, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Do you have your ID? Yes. Okay. Should I go grab another one? Um, yeah, 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 go ahead and bring it over. Just make sure. What is your telephone number? I'm so glad they were able to, or I was able to, um, exchange this thing because I just. At first, I was like, it's just one clay bar. I'm probably not going to use um, both of them because one clay bar just lasts forever. But I was thinking, yo, if I'm paying full price, I should get full product. So I just went back and got it back. As you guys know, the car has been dirty for like so long since... I haven't washed it since before going camping. And um, after camping, I have not cleaned the car at all. And uh, it just looks disgusting. Let me show you guys the interior. Look at all that. <laughs> My cousin got in the car the other day and he was like, dude, what happened? <laughs> it's just so dirty everywhere. I'm at the self self wash uh, coin up. Let's see how much is it? It's let's see. I think 250 will get me four minutes and five will get me about 10 minutes or so. I don't know. They don't really have perfect. Rinse, yes. See if this will come off. I'm just gonna have to wash the whole car first and then uh and then clay bar that guy if you guys wash your car yourselves definitely get one of these it's called the absorber xl i got it at autozone but it's perfect because um it dries it so quick and you'd have to really get like the real chamois this is basically like a like a synthetic version of it so it's not um it's not like the sheep or cow uh leather or skin animal friendly you could use it for your house hiking sports 
or uh, or even for your pets actually I've tried it on Navi because she has such thick fur um, drying her it's so good with this uh, Michi especially actually coming off like what is this stuff all right so definitely it was weird because I spent about 30 minutes doing it and I finally got most of it off as you can see but uh, if you look closely I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up but there's a line right here that won't come off let's see if I can get the right angle it's like right let me see it's a uh, right here it starts from here and it ends right there I see that weird line so that's not coming off for some reason really weird but uh i think i'm just gonna wait and see if i could use something else to get it off um but most of it came off already um not a lot of scratches on it i don't know what it was it's weird and i think today would be a good day to uh to install the front lip on it, it looks so clean i love clean cars something about a nicely washed car Chipotle chicken avocado melt. That be a full or a half sandwich? Uh, I'll take a. I'll just do a full, please. Sure. Chips on your side. Is that okay? Yeah. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, could I also get the. Uh, I'm sorry. It's, it's frozen lemonade. Got you. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Uh, do you have a veneer or work part with us? I don't. Okay. Uh, we'll have your towel out the window then. Okay, thank, thank you. you. I don't really know their menu, so I got like stuck for a second. I hate when like I go to restaurants and their menu is like so far. Maybe it's just my eyesight. <laughs> and I can't really read it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That looks amazing. Smells amazing too. Ooh. So good. Mm. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Fatty. Fatty. You're a fatty. I'm talking to you. Look at that. Look at that fat booty. No, it's not. <laughs> Fatty. Just kidding. You're more like skinny. Hi, skinny. Hi, hey, baby. Come here, skinny. Come here. <laughs> come here. Navi, come here. Navi, come. Are you hella lazy? You better be <laughs> just as fat as Michi. Hello. So I'm taking these two to the pet store with me. I just wanted to get some new... Um, treats for them like the CBD treats so we used to give them the CBD oil which you guys have seen but I just want to try out the treats to see if that would work better <laughs> I'm sure it's probably gonna work the same because it's from the same brand and um, it's just I guess the dosage but I, I want to get them the treats because I feel like they'll be more willing to take it because with the oil <laughs> is it really hot um, but yeah, I feel like with the oil they got used to it and now they hate it when I squirt it in their mouth So hopefully the treat will work better And Michi has been a little anxious lately because at night sometimes we would hear some like firework noises I don't know why it's like well past July 4th and that was when it was like crazy But yeah, people are still like setting off fireworks here and there and she's just really terrified of them. So Need to get some for her Hi, Hi. You are so so hot right now I'm sorry there's no AC in the back of the car so my car is really small and the only vents are right here so the back gets a little toasty Navi on the other hand just chilling because you're shaved 
You have no fur while you are over here wearing a sweater all year long. Come on, this way. She is so excited. It's so funny watching their footsteps because one of Michi's steps is equivalent to like three of Navi's steps. You see how fast her feet are moving? <laughs> Oh, good girls. I thought she would take one from the shelf, but they know not to. Good girls. <laughs> She's like, wow, what is this yummy stuff? What do you guys think? Anything you want in particular? <laughs> good girls. So respectful. All right, so I think I'm gonna try these. It's the Pet Relief Edibites. It has 900 milligram of full spectrum cannabinoids. I've used the oil from this brand before and it worked pretty well. So maybe we'll try this and I'll get the oil as well. Okay, just got what we needed. Heading out. Always marking everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm tangled. Okay, hang on, children. Okay. My babies. I love you guys. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> After I came home with them from the store, uh, we took them out for a walk. It's pretty hot outside, so she's pretty pooped. You are pretty pooped, and you are pretty pooped. All right, gonna test out this new CBD. The lady said that this is a higher dosage, so let's see how it goes. Hold on. Oh, but yeah, this is the one we got. The brand Green Helix for a baby fix. You guys, the new quarter pound there at McDonald's. Ooh, it looks so good, and it actually tastes really good. Mm, the meat is like so. They claim that like the meat is fresh. I guess it's really good. I mean, this is the first time I've seen a burger that's not the top one's not smashed. I know, and it's like lightweight pink inside in the middle. Ooh. By the way, this is my new favorite uh, Hong Kong singer now, or Cantonese singer. Her name is Jen Lee. She's amazing, guys. The amount of cars on the other side right now is crazy. It's the thing that like, this is only LA. And then this whole world, Lot more. This is just West LA. I know. Not LA. That's crazy. Only part of LA. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of uh, emission. But not from your car. <laughs> zero emission. Zero. Zero. Uh, zero. <laughs> he says zero. Zero. Okay. Okay. We are at the uh, Santa Monica Pier. We're right under it, and it sounds. It sounds very safe. <laughs> You guys hear the cracking, right? Like, the people walking on top? It's, it's really scary being down here. That's crazy. It feels like it's gonna fall down. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like creaking. Oh man. Um, can right. you tell us why we're here? Oh, uh, shooting a photo? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could call it a date. You know, to, to make it sound more romance. <laughs> we're on a date, actually. Yeah, we're on a date. But, but, we, but we just have to get a photo. Yeah. We sat in like over an hour traffic to get here. I know. For this photo, but gotta do it for the grams. You gotta do it for the grams or the pounds or the ounces. How about this, guys? Totally did not know that Whaley wanted to go on the beach, so I just wore my sneakers because I thought we were gonna go to the pier, like just the pier. Take your shoes off. No, it's okay. I'm good. I'm G. So, so, this is something I noticed about you. 
Every time we're at the beach and you happen to be in sneakers, you would rather stay in your sneakers yep. than get out of them and be in the sand, which yeah. is so weird. I hate it. I hate the sand. <laughs> I'm about to show you guys something hilarious. This lady right here. She's so cute. Her and her homies are trying to take a photo and they saw Whaley's pose for it. So then they got inspired and they thought they would do the same thing. But it was kind of hard for her to get on. And like she almost, almost felt like this close to falling. But uh, she's just super cute seeing like people like our parents' age trying to do it for the gram, you know? Like, uh, she's trying to do it for them. She's got to throw up the peace the sign. Once she throws up the peace sign, that's Whaley's pose. Me and Sophie and Jen in, uh, in 25 years. In 20. <laughs> Oh, now she's holding. Oh, she changed it. Oh, look at her. She changed it. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> if anyone's hair does this? I came with curly hair. But with the humidity in the air, no, it's completely like straight. Post Malone's uh, photo. <laughs> what do you mean? I've Have never you seen, seen that one? No. <laughs> Basically. Oh, I think we could go down right here. But girl, that was a mission taking this photo. So I had a vision in my mind, and it didn't fully come true because of just the way the Ferris wheel was positioned. Um, but I think we got something. And I just wanted to share like the whole process of like Instagrammers taking their photos like it really is a process that I really applaud people that always get the perfect shot because it takes a lot of time yeah. you, you just never know how long it truly takes but um, it really is a process and it's I, I feel like it truly takes an artist not that I'm an artist obviously but for those people who really go out there and dedicate their time to shooting like I look up to them what's up Hi guys, we're back. Every time we come home, they're so happy. Oh, Shh. Hey. Don't mind the house, it is currently a mess. <laughs> I have trash everywhere, not trash, but my, my things are everywhere and it's driving me crazy. But I will clean it later. But, while set that the dog goes, peed and pooped in the bathroom. Yay! It's on the pad! Woohoo! Come here! Come here, girls! Come here! Come here! Money! Come! Come here! <laughs> oh my god, they have so much energy right now. So hyper. <laughs> For those of you who are new here, Money, this dog right here, she's my childhood dog, and guess how old she is? I am talking. She is 13 years old, you guys. Whenever I tell people that she's 13, like no one believes it because she's still so active for her age. I love it. This is, oh, by the way, this is not sponsored by Sojo's, but I will have to say, ever since we switched um, our dogs to eating Sojo's, they have been so good. Like, they are so active. Their poops are great. Because I've given them um, another freeze-dry type of dog food before, and they would kind of have diarrhea here and there. But with Sojo's, it's just been on point. Like, their poops have been good. Um, their energy level is amazing. They were finally able to lose some weight because on the kibble, they were just gaining so much weight and it was just hard to control and I felt bad because we would have to, I guess, give them less food, but they were hungry. So with this food, you know, they can eat their regular amount that they should be eating and they're just maintaining a good healthy weight. So, and I mean, I really just see the energy in our dogs. I really feel like this is a really good brand of food. So if any of you guys are thinking about trying freeze-dried food, I would highly recommend this brand. I believe there are the more affordable version too of um, freeze-dried food in general because those freeze-dried raw, I keep saying the same words over and over again, but the freeze-dried raw like category of food is kind of more expensive, but I would say Sojo's is pretty affordable or more affordable, I should say. Uh, but yeah, we are not sponsored by them, but Sojo's, we do love y'all. So if you're ever looking for someone to work with, we here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You guys are so happy. You guys are so happy. And my old lady has so much energy. When she was on the kibble, oh my god, she just was gaining so much weight. <laughs> oh 
love this. <laughs> Seeing them just happy, healthy, and like loving their food makes me so happy. But yeah, on the kibble, Money was gaining a lot of weight. And every time after she would eat, or I mean just throughout the day, I mean, she would have moments where she'd get really active, but... Throughout the day, I just noticed that her energy level was pretty low. It was probably because her food was making her feel very, like, I guess, tired. But yeah, ever since we switched, her energy level is, like, on all day. And I feel like even her joints are not as sore because we have that one little step over there in our house, that step right there. And Money was having trouble going up that step for a while. And I thought, oh, you know, she's probably just getting old. But ever since switching her food, now she's, like, going up and down that stair. Like, she was running, like, sprinting across the stairs. So I really feel like the food has been just doing all the dogs real good. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, good girl. Money, go get, go get your children. Navi. Want this one? Oh, oh my! Where did she come from? I hope you guys aren't tired of the amount of times we show our dogs in a vlog. But the way I see it is they really are, I would say, I guess 80% of my life. Like Juan and I, we love our dogs so much. And when we vlog them, I know sometimes it could be a, a little excessive. We vlog our dogs a lot. But like vloggers with children, you know, they vlog their kids a lot. And for us, like our dogs truly, they take up so much space in our hearts. And we love them so much that the vlogs really is for us to document just all the memories that we have with them. My chat. Oh. oh my. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I just love them so much. And I just love recording them. I love sharing our life with them with you guys. They just make my life. I love them. Oh. <laughs> Look at this girl. Okay, okay. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> Here comes my baby. She was in the yard with Wall this whole time. You watered the plants? Yep. She is thirsty. Uh, Hello. Come here. Come here. Who's your good girl? Who's my good girl? Yeah, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying all the footage of the dogs. And I, I feel like a lot of you feel as though these are your dogs too. You guys have such a connection with them because we vlog them so much. Oh my goodness, look at that smile. Good girl. All right, who <laughs> wants dinner? Navi's really learning like phrases and words now. Who wants dinner? Who wants food? You guys want food? Okay. So for those of you who haven't seen what the freeze-dried raw food looks like yet, I think we talked about it in our last vlog, but this is kind of the consistency. I'm gonna let it soak in a little more so um, it gets a little more chunky, but this is kind of what it looks like. Very soupy, and then for Michi and Money's. Actually, I just remembered, I did do kind of like a little bit of a tutorial in our last vlog, so in case you missed it, check it out. This is what it looks like. This is um, turkey meat that we cooked for them. We just refrigerate it, and then when it's time to eat, take it out, add hot water, and it just warms it up. Oh, and another thing I don't know if you guys have noticed. I think it's just like a dog mom thing. But do you see how money's fur around her mouth? All right, can, can we take a look, woman? Can we just take a look? Okay. Um, you see how it's kind of yellow? But if you remember about a month and a half ago when she was still on the old food her fur around her mouth was like brown slowly it's starting to go back to white 
and I researched this before apparently a poor diet will cause that like just I guess discoloration in their fur so since we've been on this food I can slowly see that her fur is going back to white which just makes me so happy because she just looks younger this way and I mean clearly it was doing some to her health the old food it just couldn't have been good because it was just discoloring her saliva or like it's causing a change in her saliva which causes you know the the brownness of her fur but yeah slowly but surely she's getting back onto a healthy route huh <laughs> one couple goals underwear <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not